Get a little bit of speed behind him. Boom, I go here. I can't lift him. Trip him down. Don't let him move. Try to get up. Step on the calf. Shoot the hook in. Two hooks. Rear neck and then it's over. Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson, I've got ideas. Guys, we're gonna show you guys what we worked on today. Bam! And I'm, dude, dude, I was doing good. a fucking, the, the Jeff Glover seven-year-old like this. <laughs> I'm like, tame the beast. Uh, calm down, calm like, down the white belt fury. You know what I'm saying? What we worked on today, real, real simple thing, and it's gonna help you guys a ton if you guys uh, wanna take the back more often when you get a seat belt and the person turtles. So uh, first, let me just go through the process of what we did today. We were doing a duck under, so maybe I get some control right here. I hit a duck, I end up behind, okay? I get my grip, see I've got my lock, and now I'm gonna do the trip. This is also on another video, if you guys wanna see this trip right here. I'm gonna go with my little cross scissor trip. I'm gonna bring my right leg back, drop my knee, stick my leg out, Pull him around. Once I do that, my right hand comes up to go over the shoulder and I capture the seat belt. Pull him down, do not let him get up, okay? When the guy tries to turtle, don't let him go to his knees, like this. Now it's hard to get your hooks. If he balls up, you may try to get your hooks and you might fall off the top. If he dump trucks me and his butt raises up, I might fall forward and lose my balance. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to keep him on his side. When I keep the guy on his side, he, he attempts to also a little detail right here. Look, come look over here, John. I'm going to keep my right knee in the back of his shoulder. Okay. And then my, my right elbow, I'm pulling this back to my thigh. It's like I'm connecting my elbow onto my, onto my leg right here. Okay. Sometimes I might balance on my elbow. I can pull my elbow back to my thigh and it's gonna give me support. That's Go ahead, now when he tries to get up, it's like real tough. Next, come look over here. I'm gonna step on his calf muscle. When I'm in this position, I'm gonna step on that calf muscle so the guy can't get up and then start to go to the turtle. Now he can't pull his knee to his chest. That's gonna allow me to shoot my hook inside. Once you shoot your hook inside, now you have the first hook, you can hip escape a little and put the second hook and get the back. Okay? So when he's on his side right here. And I have to turn that hook. Yes, this is called a hip heist. See how he scissors his legs? He scissors because he wants to get his hips up. And if you guys allow that, he'll ball up. He'll scissor and ball up. Or he may sit in the guard and roll, all kinds of stuff. So. I control the seat belt. I don't let him go where he wants. He starts to scissor. I step on the back of his leg. Now I allow him to start to get up. As he does, my knee can go inside. I stretch my leg. I set the hook. Now that I set the hook, now I can use my left hook and get my left hook. If you feel he's balled up and you can't, remember, use this foot for a hip escape to adjust, to take a little bit of slack out of your right foot. Mm -hmm. So now you can bring it to your left. If you still don't have room because he's balled up, lock your ankles, pull the seat belt and stretch him. So when he pulls that left knee to his chest, he's trying, I hold him here and I get the hook. Wrist, boom, boom, finish, okay? So here's the series again. It's mostly about how we step on the calf or the Achilles tendon, anywhere along there from the knee to the ankle to ensure that he can't bring his knee to his chest and that allows you the hook entry to get your back. Okay, but either way, I get into the duck under, okay, I get my lock. I don't let him turtle go. I keep pulling the guy back, I get him to here, step on there, put the hooks in, right on the back. Wrist control, finish. Okay. There was a little bit quicker. That's huge. One last time, uh, like slow. Boom, hit the duck, got my lock, can't lift him. Shut him 
down, seatbelt. What if he does turtle, guys? Say he turtles, he's balled up. You can't take the back right here, so watch what I do. I'm just gonna reverse engineer the same situation. I'm gonna go backward. How do I get him back to his side? Shoulder goes on the back of the neck, and now I'm gonna drop to my side. It's gonna force the back of his skull forward like this. And I'm gonna pull him. You see how my legs are here? If he were to come on top of me, I would just pull him into my lap, you know, like hooks. If he allowed it, he's not going to. You know, he, he might try to, you know, move or whatever, but that's okay, I've got control. Once I drop him, come on over here, John. Okay. I'm not gonna let him get up. I'm on my elbow. When I get up, don't let him get up. Otherwise, you're back where you started. So once I drop him, like this, he's gonna try to turtle, I'm gonna pull him back, and now I'm gonna get up and keep him here. Yeah. Now he tries to get up, I'm not allowing it, I step on the back of the calf, now he's trying to get up, shoot my hook in, two hooks, get his back, finish, okay? So either way, whether you keep him on his side from the get-go, or if he goes to a turtle, you can then also drop him on his side, okay? So let's go through it one more time, one last time. Get a little bit of speed behind him. Duck, boom, I sit here. I can't lift him. Put him down. Don't let him move, try to get up. Step on the calf. Shoot the hook in. Two hooks. Rear neck and then it's over. Okay. Did we get all the details? Um. That was pretty, from the side, how you're using your elbow. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when we're like this, just really fast. Like that elbow control. This, this elbow, guys, look. Like, use your elbow, pull this elbow back, because you can't let this guy turtle. So you've got to keep some pressure pulling backwards. So when he tries, try to turtle. It's like okay. so hard. Now, even if, uh, if you can look at my hips, even if I'm like this, mm. I'm okay. Like, I'm okay right here. I got a seatbelt. Like, if he trusts turtle, I'm leaning. This allows me to step on the back of the, the, the calf. Right here, Achilles standing anywhere along here. No. And now we see the entry. When there's a little bit of daylight right here, right there, that's where I'm gonna shoot that hook in. It's perfect. Okay? It's crazy, huh? Sometimes you can go foot first and just stab it in. Other times I go knee and then I do a front kick and then it goes in. So that's actually sometimes some differences. Sometimes, uh, you know, I'm pulling him back with my right elbow. He tries to turtle, I step. Sometimes if my knee goes in. See, now I'm going to the front over here, John. And then I just do, see my knee went through and I'm still stepping. So we can't uh, pull, it, pull your knee to your chest. So I'm not allowing it. I kick my foot straight, then I go hook in. Other times, when he's here, there's a little gap and now I shoot it in. I don't know if you can see this, John. But look, look down low right here. He tries to get his hips up. My foot goes in direct. So sometimes it goes in direct. Just you can be si up. single hooking it. Stretch the guy out, get your two hooks, get your points. If you guys want to go to like body triangles, you can start doing that. Yeah. Obviously on Eddie, I might be able to, if I get you all the way to here. Nice. I'm not really a body triangle guy. You guys can see I can't really reach. So I'll probably just stay like with two hooks. But you guys that want to, just move, crunch. Do a crunch. No, like allow it. Oh, I can get man. it on you if you help me. There it is. There you go. Good, right there. Then you guys can go to your body triangle. It's huge. Um, that's one reason why, guys, if you guys ever notice, I almost never do the body triangle for you. <laughs> it is good to do it. Like if Eddie does, you want to do the move? Do the move. Hit a little duck. Okay. Gets his lock. Try to lift. He can't lift me. He drops. Boom. Seat belt. Look at this. If my legs are like this, I'm staying in a ball. He can't really get my the mount or get his hooks yet. Mm -hmm. But when I try turtle, he doesn't let me. He steps, shoots the leg in, and then for you body triangle guys, no, not that side. The other yeah. side. Yes. Then he can shoot it across and get the body triangle there. Yeah. We don't go to the body triangle on the bottom because maybe this is gonna happen here. Ah. And now some guys are real flexible, it doesn't bother them, but 
Yeah, some people it does. So, this so doing a little bit of extra. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Then right here, this probably won't bother you right there. Yeah, mm. he's got a crazy squeeze. Now I'm done. Sir. Okay. Always more things to learn, guys. There was like a whole bunch of stuff. We kind of went off on a tangent, but <laughs> awesome for you guys to learn. Okay, Eddie, come on so, in here. Thank you guys so much. Go Teach team. me grappling. Eddie Diaz right here. Go train. Stud in the making. Actually, he already became one, but uh, this guy. we're improving the studness. Okay. Hard work. John, you're a stud too. Hard work. the camera. You gotta work hard. John right now is nodding. He's like, yeah, I am, I am. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. Please click link down below, Patreon, PayPal, and uh, oh man. And uh, please contribute to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time with more stuff. And what else can I say? I love you guys. Train Take hard. it easy. Let train hard. Later.